Well, it is the final couple days of 2021, and these last two days of the year, I am not in court. I am in the office cleaning things up, getting ready for 2022. Uh, I will not be in the office on Saturday. It's New Year's Day. I'll be spending the day with my family, but be back in the office on Monday, maybe Sunday uh, morning, uh, depending on how late we're out. Uh, on Saturday. With that said, I did come out with a, a blog article regarding a recent decision from the Pennsylvania Supreme Court in which it affirmed the trial court decision in Allentown, Pennsylvania with regards to the search of a car in Allentown and probable cause to search the car based on the smell of marijuana. Now, I had done articles in this case previously uh, the case came down uh, just recently here um, in Pennsylvania by the Supreme Court, I think it was Wednesday, but the case actually began uh, with a trial decision almost three years ago. So uh, a lot of people had actually forgotten about it, but the Pennsylvania Supreme Court had finally got into it. But in the trial court's decision, the trial court judge in downtown Pennsylvania ruled that the search was illegal because the police officer conducted the search based on the smell of marijuana alone. Now, at the time of that decision, Pennsylvania was still operating under the Gary standard, which permitted warrantless searches in the Commonwealth. But since that case, that trial court case, and before the Supreme Court ruled, we had the case that was given to us by the Pennsylvania Supreme Court, in the case of uh, Commonwealth versus Alexander, in which the Supreme Court ruled that warrantless searches were once again illegal in Pennsylvania. So we're back to the pre Gary stages. So now we have the Alexander case, which basically says that warrantless searches are illegal. So police need search warrants to search a car, and that the mobility of the car in and of itself is a exigent circumstance that the police can, can no longer use. Uh, New Jersey follows the federal standard, which says that the mobility of the car allows them to search the car without the warrant. That's what the most states follow. Pennsylvania does not. Now, in this Pennsylvania Supreme Court case recently, Commonwealth versus Barr, where the court talked about the smell of marijuana, in that particular case, again, the court said that the search was illegal but um, it was talking about a warrantless search. So the fact that the, all, the, the fact that the officer didn't have a warrant wasn't what made the search illegal. It was the fact that the officer didn't have sufficient probable cause because probable cause was based on the smell alone. What the court said recently on Wednesday was that smell alone isn't enough for a search, and it didn't distinguish between warrantless search and, and a search warrant, but it wasn't enough for a search, but police could use it in a, as a factor. So, for instance, if they had the smell, if they had the, the perhaps the driver's presentation, perhaps they saw some type of paraphernalia, or maybe even things like uh, large quantities of money, uh, that using a totality of circumstances analysis is which what the U.S. Supreme Court uh, calls us to use uh, in, in and in any type of probable cause determination, that may be enough for a search. Now, what that basically means is, is that that factor, that smell of marijuana, is enough for a search warrant. It doesn't make warrantless searches, once again, legal in Pennsylvania. They are still illegal. So the police officers basically they stop a car now, so they think, think they smell marijuana, that in and of itself, is not enough for a search warrant. So it's an important decision. Please read that article. I will link it into this video. It's a, it's a good read. Remember, most of our criminal cases begin with a search of a vehicle, whether it be a search which yields a illegal drug or a narcotic or a firearm. Also, we can have searches involving DUI and DWI. Remember, when we file motions to suppress evidence, which is often the most powerful motion we can file as attorneys representing individuals. We, that motion covers a wide variety of cases and that's why it's always important to consider. If you have questions about searches in Pennsylvania or New Jersey, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, 
856-793-7429 in New Jersey, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Website, gambonelaw.com. As always, a tremendous resource for you and your family. All my books, my blogs, my videos are available there in one convenient format. It is a great resource to have going into the weekend. It is New Year's Eve weekend. I put out a lot of content regarding New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And I put out the article, the four most common offenses we see during New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. That is a great article. I'm gonna link it in with this video as well. I'm also gonna link in links to our uh, free no cost books. And tomorrow we're coming out with our final e-newsletter for the year to go out to over 4,000 of our current and former clients in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. It's our final newsletter. We haven't missed a week uh, ever in the last, I think, six or seven years. That we, we might have missed one, one week, but I don't, I don't think we have. So it's a great resource to have going into the weekend. We, we will share that e-newsletter on our social media accounts. And uh, also, we will share links with it on our YouTube as well. So once again, 215-755-9000 Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429 in New Jersey, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Have a happy new year, and I will talk to you all very soon.